My first experience of the Great Barrier Reef uh, began when I was about 15 or 16 years old. We went up uh, to, on our holiday to the outer Great Barrier Reef from Port Douglas there and we were on a small snorkel only boat and our tour leader was this crazy curly haired guy named Fluffy. His real name is Chris Jones and he was the one that inspired, you know, that, that beautiful passion for the reef that I have. Emma Scott is one of our top contributors in Iron the Reef. Uh, we have about four or five key champions out up and down the Great Barrier Reef and uh, Emma is one of those uh, key people. I, I try to instill a sense of uh, wonder and awe in all of our people and evidently it worked at least once. So after my degree I, I went straight into tourism, came out looking for a job, went straight to the tour operator that I went to many years ago and found out they actually did need a marine biologist and it was in fact Fluffy's job uh, that I was then uh, filling. So, fantastic circle. <laughs> because I spent roughly 10 years in the reef tourism industry, I'm pretty confident I've got a, a good idea of how difficult it is for tour guides to go out in the water and do their job safely, but also be able to collect scientific data. This is an important point in Tourism Weekly because we've designed that program such that these guys don't have to stop what they're doing. They don't have to do a, a special thing in the water. They're doing their in-water activity, which is looking for the cool stuff, showing people the cool stuff. All we're saying is record the cool stuff. Look, it's important for tourism operators to participate in these programs because we are the eyes and ears out at the reef. We go out to these sites every single day. A lot of different scientific organizations, government organizations are lucky if they get to go out maybe once a year. Whereas we go every single day, we're in the water and we really take it to heart. I mean, this is our backyard. So we want to make sure that it's looked after, make sure that there's a long-term sustainability so that it's there for people to enjoy. The main strength of Tourism Weekly, I'd have to say, is you know, you're getting like-minded people in uh, to look at the reef. You know, people that are out there every single day, regardless, they can see when things change, you know. Um, it's like, I guess, a bit of an early warning system for what may come. A lot of times when you read the newspaper, you read the magazine, you go online, you know, it's a little bit doom and gloom. I can take pride in knowing that what I do every single day actually has an impact, not just on the Great Barrier Reef, but on marine science and on the planet in general.